Okay, so this is a um, pretty different video. I'm going to be, let's say, not the nicest person in today's podcast video, but this is something that has really been pissing me off for the past. I don't know how long this situation has been going on in Palestine, uh, but bless all these people that have lost their lives, um, people that are going through it, people that have lost family members that are that have family members in the country. Um, I hope that they are all safe. My condolences for in advance. But there is something that we've got to discuss and talk about in this video as well about uh, about this whole thing. So yeah, I don't know if I can really say enjoy this video, but I guess enjoy. So I'm pretty sure you're aware of what has been happening in the world right now. Um, I couldn't find, I don't really see anyone making videos on this subject. Maybe because, you know, it's a very sensitive subject, which I can fully understand and agree with. I'm not going into a goddamn argument here that it's Palestine, Israel. Look, I'm not going into argument with that. I'm not a politician. I think it's a very devastating thing what's going on. Uh, but let's not forget, and let's be realistic as well, this has been going on for quite a while. Um, Middle East, etc. The countries fighting against each other because of a certain religion or an area. Uh, uh, turf. Um, but what really has been making me, not even angry, but makes me so goddamn upset is these influencers posting about this. And look, I don't think there's anything wrong with spreading awareness. God, no. I think spreading awareness is amazing. That's the way it should be. That's humanity. However, when you're an influencer here and you only post about these certain subjects for your own benefit, you're a piece of shit. My God, you're disgusting. I'm sorry, but I'm seeing all these influencers, right? Living these lavish lifestyles, pretending to, to really care when they don't give a F. Let's keep it really honest. Who, who, who are they fooling here? God, they're not fooling me. I think it's a terrible incident. I don't even know if you can call this a goddamn incident. Really, I don't think it is. No, no. This, what's been happening is god awful disgusting. I am, I don't know what to say about this. Protests even in the Netherlands, sort of government, were protesting in Amsterdam to show our voice and opinion like, hey, this is messed up, man. This is inhumane. This isn't what we do as humans. Disgusting. Now, I'm not going to name this individual. God, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to get sued by the management. I'm not going to show this person, I'm not going to give this person clout, although this person has a lot of goddamn followers. Um, I'm not going to mention anything about the person, uh, I'm not going to mention the gender, but you can probably quickly come after what the gender is. So this is Instagram, alright? And like I said, there's nothing wrong with mentioning and speaking up about this whole conflict, but when it's this, right, you just keep on posting stuff after you've posted a video of yourself showing your body for goddamn views in order to get views. Now, I'm going to click on this video and I just, I don't know what to say about it, man. These people choosing between Palestine or a toilet. Oh my God. Is you that desperate for views? I know, I want, I want to talk, but let's see the comments of this video, right? So many people say respect. Yeah, that's cool, but don't you realize this is a garden own beneficial? This has got nothing to do... Like I said, these influencers, majority of them, 90%, I can assure you, don't give a... They don't give a, a, a goddamn what's, what's going on in these countries. No, they don't. And this is what making me very upset. These people grabbing views, mentioning these, these certain subjects going on, and doing it for their own likes... I get that you want to get goddamn views, but that's not the way to do it, baby. It's not, and it's not how you should do it. Your management should be goddamn ashamed of themselves for even letting you post a, a video like that. It's a goddamn disgrace. And it makes me very unhappy as a human being, and it shows you what a piece of shit you are. I'm just keeping very honest with you guys. If you're that desperate for views that you have to make a video sexualizing yourself... On a certain subject, which is a highly sensitive subject, which I don't think there should be anyone joking about. God, no. I don't want to see no disrespectful comments. I'll remove your comment because this is not a funny subject. And I don't get why people are making these videos. These influencers must be ashamed of themselves. And, you know, you got to realize most of these people that post these kind of videos, they don't post them themselves. I swear to God. They don't have control over their social media. And that's quite, kind of like the worst part. They sign up to a management and that in that contract says, you know, we take care of your management, blah, 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 blah. We track what you f what you po post online. We decide what you eventually are going to post online. And we're going to, you need our approval before you post the goddamn video or post about a certain subject that, it, that could be potentially sensitive to people out there, right? God knows how the management allowed this to be posted on the Instagram. I think it's goddamn awful. This is basically for your own benefits. You're not getting it probably. Right? I'm still confused. 
what do you mean these people are using a certain subject for their own benefits? They're talking about the subject. And regardless of that person is good or bad, a lot of the times when you've done something, let's say, God, am I being caught? Uh, doing something and, oh my God, cancel Keegan. Oh my God, cancel him. Oh no, he's such a bad human being. And the next day I heard about this. Oh my God, what if I post something about this? Pretend to care about this when I don't give a rat's ass. Get some goddamn likes. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. These influencers pretending to give a damn when they're living in their goddamn million dollar homes, etc. They don't care. You must realize none of these goddamn influencers care. Almost none of them care. Let's keep it real. They are only posting these certain things on their stories on their goddamn Snapchat, etc. Because they're trying to get goddamn views. It's nothing else I can say. They're trying to get views. They're trying to brainwash people into thinking oh he's a great person you know regardless of what he's done man what is this guy a humble person he actually truly cares god damn he doesn't man he doesn't care unfortunately you gotta realize these influencers are one of the most useless in society when it comes to these certain subjects the ones that we really must rely on is our own people the ones that are on the internet the whole day you must realize most of these influencers posting about certain subjects that are very sensitive they don't post the stuff, unfortunately. It's the management. When you see a long, I don't give a damn. I'm I'm aware that these people don't give a give a rat's ass. Because they don't. They're selfish. They only care about themselves, and they're going to post whatever in God's name they could do for their own benefit. And that's what it comes to the reality. Reality is these influencers don't care. God, they couldn't care as long as it isn't him. As long as it doesn't hit them financially in the pocket, they didn't care, and they can't and will never care what's going on in the real world. Because you got to realize these influencers are living in a freaking bubble. It's a goddamn bubble, which is impossible to pop. But eventually, one day, the bubble is going to pop. And they're going to snap back to reality and say, Oh, wow, you're right. Maybe this social media life we're living is fake. It is goddamn fake, man. And that's one thing to talk about as well. This whole in- this whole image of influencers having so much goddamn money, etc. I know this is out of topic. Don't be fooled by these influencers as well, man. Most of them don't even live that life, so that goddamn Lambo, it's probably rented, or it's probably not even there, it's just a friend's Lambo that they just thought, hey, let me use it in a video and pretend like I'm rich. <laughs> That's what you think about it. Of course, I am goddamn devastated by this, this thing going on. I have no words for it, but I haven't posted anything about this on my Instagram with a photo, because the people know, the real people know, that I have it in my heart. I don't go ahead and post these goddamn pictures of this, man. Regardless of what's going on, I've always said I feel bad for it. But there's not much I can do with posting a goddamn picture of it. What I can do is help these people and donate. That's what you can do as well. I've never seen the point and never understood of posting goddamn pictures. That's not going to change the people's situation and what they're currently at. It's not going to change anyone's life in that country at a moment at all. A picture won't do anything. Words won't do anything, but actions will do a lot. That was beautifully said. That wasn't scripted. Alright, so yeah, just just want to talk about the subject since it is... It's sad what's going on. God damn, it's sad, man. Let's not forget this is a very messed up situation currently at the, at the, at the moment. Um, I'm hoping this situation is going to stop ASAP as possible because it's, it's, it's disgusting, honestly. This shouldn't be a thing happening, but unfortunately it is. And you have to realize reality is reality. Some things you can't change with a post or a like. So don't, be, don't be that one person that's trying to get likes of a certain topic i'm not asking any likes on this video i don't give a damn god for all, for all you know you could dislike this video with 50 dislikes that's cool that's your opinion you may not have agreed with me or you or you think the subject isn't is sensitive but i'm just saying i won't be posting about these things on my instagram but that doesn't mean that i don't care i do care it's just i'm realistic and i and i think god i can't do nothing about these people man god damn i wish i could but what's a, a post going to do for them? Nothing. It's only going to benefit me with likes and comments. And saying and people saying, Oh, Keegan, we appreciate you being there for us. I don't have to post these things. Because people know inside that I think about that. I just don't mention it on the, on, 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 on the platforms. But I do. I'm just not that like hungry. I don't care about the likes or the views. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, I'll see you guys later, man.